Okay, I would like to show how to install and run the virtual machine for the training school on synergistic image reconstruction. So first of all, you go to the ccppetema.ac.uk website, and then you find this link, training school on synergistic reconstruction 2019. You click there and you are redirected to this page. Uh, you will see, um, some instruction and says uh, do initial reading, download and install the VM. So how to do that uh, other than sending me emails is by installing VirtualBox. So you go to this web page. You uh, choose the host machine you want to install uh, onto, so Windows or Linux, uh, Linux or OS X, you install it and then you download the, the file at this link um, should be about two to three gigabytes, so it takes a while, and this is the MD5 sum, so check that if you want to be sure that the, da the data that you got are correct. Then, once you've got that, you, you can start VirtualBox. Um, I normally type the Windows key in this case, and then I write VirtualBox, and uh, which a box comes here. You may find it better to look into the menus or you have um, created a shortcut on your, on your desktop. Anyway, start which a box. Which a box starts as this. If it is a fresh install, you probably, well, we will not have anything in this list. This list is the list of which machines that are installed on your, on your machine. So if it's a fresh install, you will have nothing. Um, what you have to do, you have to import the appliance. So you do import. Um, and you will have to point to the file that you've just downloaded. So you find it and open. So I've done it already, so it should be fine. Now, um, you can start the machine from by clicking here. Um, just I modified this virtual machine to have uh, eight gigabytes of memory available. Uh, the one you've downloaded out, uh, only has four. Uh, this doesn't mean that the virtual machine will use all this memory from your host. It will potentially use it. You, you will change it by settings, system, and then you, there is this slider. Okay, so we start. So it will take a uh, few seconds to start. Um, this is the machine booting. Um, this message says that when you type things in the virtual machine, then the keyboard would be uh, connected to it. So means that if you think of doing something else outside the virtual machine, then the commands will not go to outside, but will go to the virtual machine. To release the virtual machine, you either select, you know, with the mouse, you click on the, say, in this case, Windows window, or you click right control is written here. So there is one user, you select the user and you type the password, which is virtual, V-I-R-T-U-A-L, and then click sign in or type enter. The machine disappears uh, to appear again in a minute. So just to note, because I already started this machine, it comes with a larger screen that you will find. Uh, there is no problem. You can change the size by moving the, um, the window. Um, so this is a fresh install of Ubuntu 18.04. For the ones who are not uh, familiar with it, you have a status bar with some things, so the uh, clock with the calendar. Uh, you have here yeah, access to the power, so you can um, shut down the, the virtual machine, which is virtual, but it's a real machine. Um, and you have a number of installed uh, locales. So we chose English UK. 
and here you have activities that there will be the applications installed on the machine. Um, so you need to type term, terminal to get a terminal, which I normally use this one. You can use any other. Uh, the other option is to go here and see the, the icons and then click the one you like and here you can also select all or frequent but this is barely used so uh, this is all so you start here now um, so the first thing you should do uh, on starting the virtual machine is to update it so let's go to see the website it says after following this instruction, open a terminal in the VM and launch this stuff. So update VM will be the first uh, command to type. Now I have to update it because it's not right, but it misses some. Anyway, so you need to type in dot, dot slash ccp petama, oh, sorry, devel ccp petmr underscore vm slash scripts slash update vm um, so you click there you press enter and this script will try to update all the software on the virtual machine if it has changed from the one you've downloaded so far it will take too long but it will take a while so you see it has to go through all the dependency lists and and compile well compile if something has changed otherwise it won't um, then there are these other steps uh, which are download the pet data or download the MR data for the notebooks so for the notebooks to run um, you will so the, the machine comes bare with the software but without data so you can download them independently um, so this step to download the pet data this for the MR data and this to download the CT data in total it will be about two gigabytes I think um, which we don't package so I will not do that uh, in this demo so if we stumble upon a failure in reading some data sets it's because of that but you will have done it i will uh, correct this page as well with you will not have this tab Uh, Debel CCP pet MR VM slash scripts slash update VM. That's it. So now you have the right command, and by the time we've finished here, uh, it's um, finishing to uh, do all the updates so now it's all done um, so now we need to start uh, Gadgetron if we want we are interested in um, MR um, and not uh, you can skip this if you're not but I'll show you how you can start um, you can start Gadgetron by typing Gadgetron and this is now running and then you have to um, start the Jupyter notebook which you may do in a different tab here or in a new window here, it doesn't matter. And it starts by Jupyter Notebook. Now you see it has a warning saying no browser was found. And this is because we suggest you to use a browser in the host machine rather than in this machine. Uh, so basically you can now go to your favorite browser which in my case it's uh, Chrome so uh, you start uh, your favorite browser and then you open a new tab and you point it to HTTP 
um, semicolon slash slash localhost localhost it's already there but I type it 8888 and then you will come up to this screen which uh, requires you to enter a patch password which is virtual percent one so I just type it here so the login in, is virtual like that the login into the virtual machine the login into Jupyter is virtual percent one so we go here we write virtual percent one login and we see what's available so here these surf exercises are the notebooks for uh, surf with uh, petsmr and synergistic and re uh, registration so if you click there you will have to go to notebooks so you have a directory which is introductory mr pets registration and synergistic so for the ones of you who are, don't have much experience with jupyter um, so this files with this uh, extension ipython notebook um, are the notebooks so you click and this will start some software in the virtual machine um, jupyter notebook com as um, rich text and code mixed together so you can have cells so it's made of many cells or few cells depends on who's written it um, of different types so this is a text type of uh, cell this is again a text type of cell and this these here are code type of cells let me uh, do this uh, when you start a notebook uh, fresh in your case you will have this status you see in code cells you have this in I don't know what it means but um, and square brackets empty inside this means that this cell has not run yet um, if we run it it will have a star for a while and then a number so when the star is present means that the cell is running if it has a number it means it has run and the second cell that runs will bear number two so i hope that's sufficiently clear so the idea here is that you read the text and the code and you execute by clicking this um, button or i think control so by selecting the cell, control enter will run the cell. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So you see there is there are comments in the in the code cells that will guide you to understand what happens in this piece of code. Uh, so we can click here, click here, click here, and yeah gone and at the end i think we should have so this is executed I'm, I'm not taking yeah so you see that you have numbers and all sort of good output so uh, so you will have read this um so if you are interested in the city um demos that will be here cil demos uh, again you go to notebooks and here it's a little bit different we have a numbering which tells you in which order you should do um, we um, these are made as exercises so you some will require you to write some code uh, but also we provide solutions so if you prefer to have a, a notebook that will run with all the text and all the explanations this is what you want some people prefer to be forced to think uh, and uh, read and, and try to figure out things to learn better so we provide both um, one thing that might be um, discussed is that this um, when we uh, we can stop the kernel by kernel shutdown this is required if you open too many files so the Jupyter will not like it too much 
some notebooks, especially the CIL notebooks, will not run on the virtual machine because they need a GPU and GP, the virtual machine doesn't have it, especially I think the, the last one here, but the rest will work. So I think all in all, you have a sense of what to do uh, to start uh, the um, notebooks. Remember, have a look at this page with uh, additional information. And if you cannot um, solve your problems, just email me. Thank you.